Speaking of the cloud, Cloudera is a hot startup making money off the Hadoop. It's an open source platform originally developed by Google in the early 2000s, way, way back when. Cloudera, founded in 2008, has raised $36 million in three rounds of funding. CEO Mike Olson joining us. Mike, Michael, which is it? Mike. Mike. So, Mike, um, talk to me about big data. The cloud's so hard to get people's heads around. We are just talking to Bill Gurley about it. Uh, big data is a big concept. Can you, how do you explain that? Well, you know, the web properties discovered this problem before the rest of the world. They had the entire internet that they wanted to ingest and index and understand. But in addition, in addition, when users visited their websites, their activity created more logs, more user-generated content. They wanted to capture, mine, and understand their users based on all that data. So companies are sitting on tons of data about their customers, but not, they, maybe they don't know what it is? Yeah, not just web companies these days, but banks and insurance companies and hospitals are able to get lots of information from lots of sources that they never could before. Just one example that we use when we're talking is most traders keep track of every single trade that they make. Sure. But almost none keeps track of every single trade they don't make, right? What if you could store all that information and the entire state of the market? when you made that decision and use that to evaluate your trading, trading strategies in the long term. Mike, in talking about how the cloud has led to an explosion of new business models, you recently told Business Week things are downright Darwinian right now. There hasn't been this type of Cambrian explosion in corporate technology in 20 years. First of all, it's very philosophical of you <laughs> to say, but explain to us how this is happening. I've been in the database industry for 25 or 30 years, and I'll tell you, it's been boring for the last couple of decades. In just the last five or six years with technologies like open source Hadoop, though, the decisions that CIOs get to make, the technology they've got to capture, store, and then analyze data in really powerful new ways is absolutely exploding. It used to be that the answer was relational databases, and then you could ask me the question. These days, column stores, NoSQL technologies, and systems like Hadoop are available for new problems and new ways to understand data. So if the amount of data is absolutely exploding, how do companies harness that data and make it useful? And is it all really useful? In fact, it's useful in ways that people don't understand yet. I think that the big advances in the industry are going to be derived from extracting value from enormous amounts of information that's only been thrown on the ground in the past. How do people do it, though? using cloud technologies. The way that Amazon and Facebook build their data centers is to buy large numbers of commodity servers and then spread their information among all of them and their compute workloads among all of them. That architecture is moving now into banks, hospitals, into government and other industries. Everybody is moving toward these cloud-based deployments and you need a new software platform, a new data management strategy to capture data in that way. That's what Hadoop was designed to do. Strikes me that this is the kind of business Oracle should be in. What do we need a startup for? Why isn't Oracle doing this? Startups innovate very, very quickly. I actually had the honor of selling my last company to Oracle. I've got enormous respect for the company. Oracle is very good at servicing an enormous established market. Emerging technologies are hard for big companies to focus on, right? Tens of millions, dozens of millions of dollars in revenues a year don't make a difference to the big players. Emerging technologies typically come out of startups. We need to demonstrate that the market is every bit as big as we think it is. I expect you'll see that the big vendors will be making announcements and getting interested in this uh, technology and in the space very quickly. So how do you stay ahead? We innovate as fast as we can, we participate in the open source community, and we've got deep expertise in the platform. We hire the people who invented the system, who know it best, and then we use them to enhance and extend it and to work and service customers. Well, to talk to me about using the open source. I think people don't understand what that means, and I'm really curious about how you guys have lots of people developing your software who don't work for your company. People understand Red Hat and Linux. People understand Maybe. what MySQL did. The idea is many, many developers in the world collaborate on a project out in the open. Anyone can contribute and anyone can use the software. The advantage is, and this is key, if it's not differentiating for you, if it's not really something that your business does better than anybody on the planet, you're kind of crazy to invest a bunch of resources into doing that work yourself. By sharing platform development work across many organizations, everybody benefits, and then can build on top of that the innovative analytics, the custom applications, the real valuable IP that differentiates them in the market. So What's your goal here? You've got 85 to 90 employees. You've raised $36 million in funding. What's next? What's your vision for Cloudera? I believe that 
data is going to transform the industry in the way that manufacturing did in the 1900s. I think that the way that companies win in the next couple of decades is going to be by understanding better what their customers want, who their vendors and partners are, and what the market's going to do. And those decisions are going to be driven off of a volume and a variety of data that was never available for user preferences, geography, transactions, images, audio, video, data that was previously inaccessible is now amenable to analysis in ways it never was before. We want to create the successor to the relational database market. We're not replacing it. We're doing something new and different, and we think it's every bit as big. So if you're, really quickly, if you're tacked down to that uh, relational database market, the Oracle market, if you will, doesn't that mean the margins have got to be lower, that you've got to be looking at 10 or 20% profit margins in the end? This platform is brand new. It's not replacing Oracle. In fact, we've got great relationships with the established relational da database vendors. This is a major new opportunity, a major new problem that businesses need to solve, and a major new technology that's been invented to solve. So less profits or more profits in terms of margin? More profits. Uh, I wish you luck with that. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Good. Thank you.